yes, today is Monday, the 18th day of October 2021. And this is the Sports 24 online show with me, Kweku Kyogi for short. It's been a rainy morning and definitely we still have to bring you all the best and the latest as far as sports is concerned. And I'm here to brief you on some local stories. And then also I would give you some international news as well, especially what is happening as far as transfers are concerned and then also results across Europe are concerned. Quickly, don't forget to always, always, always follow sports24online.com for all the latest in the world of sports. That is www.sports24online.com. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Sports24Online on Facebook. Also on Instagram, SS24Online, as well as Twitter. Just follow us and we would always, always, always give you nothing but the best when it comes to sports. My name once again is Kweku Odro, Kyogi for short. Coming up, we would be looking at Accra Hearts of Folk. Yes, phobia. That advantage before visiting that is with that. And we are hoping for the best for um, Accra Hearts of Folk because they are representing Ghana. Also, we would be looking at performances of Ghanaian players abroad. It's been a fantastic weekend for Ghanaian players abroad and quickly let's jump straight and do the details here and we would begin from the CAF Champions League and Accra House of Oak they recorded a victory over Moroccan champions with that AC to gain advantage in their CAF Champions League tie that was on a Sunday yesterday it ended 1-0 in favor of Accra Hearts of Oak. The Phobians pick with that 1-0 in the first leg of the first round of the Champions League game at the Accra Sports Stadium. Isaac Mensah's solitary goal indeed in the first half was enough for the Rainbows to clinch. That is the all-important win. So we say congratulations to Accra Hearts of Oak for that all-important win going into the second leg. Let's see how it goes, but I believe definitely that Accra Hearts of Oak are going to make it and uh, yes, they will make it into the group stages of the CAF Champions League. And away from Accra Hearts of Oak, now quickly, let me take you through performances of Ghanaian players abroad and it will amaze you to know that a lot of uh, Ghanaians performed so well across Europe. And we start off from the English Premier League. And in the Premier League, Daniel Amate, he played the full 90 minutes in Leicester City's 4-2 win over Manchester United at the Kane Power Stadium. Mohamed Salis also put up another impressive performance uh, for Southampton against Leeds United. Remember, Southampton also doing so. Tariq Lamte, he came off the bench and played just 32 minutes for Brighton in their goalless drawn game against Norwich City. So these are uh, some players in the Premier League. And if we move to Spain, yes, in the Spanish La Liga, Josep Edu played a full 90 minutes for Celta Vigo against Sevilla as they lost 1-0 in that game. And in Italy, in the Italian Serie A, uh, Emmanuel Jesse, he also played that. Uh, he played a full 90 minutes for Spezia in their 2-1 win over Salah. Litana and Caleb Cooper also had about 59 minutes of playing time for Genoa in their 2 2 drawn game against Sassuolo. And if we move to Germany in the Bundesliga, Christopher E.J. Entry was on the bench for Bochum against Gruta Ford in their 1 0 win. And then Hans Nunu Sape also played 90 minutes for Gruta Ford. And a, still staying in the uh, in, in Germany, Kevin Ofori also was on the bench for Paderborn against, that is, Regensburg in their 1-1 drawn game. And if we move to France in the league, uh, yes, in the league, uh, Salis Abdul Samet played 90 minutes for Clermont in their 1-0 win over Lille. And Ali Seydou was on the bench for Clermont. Majid Waris, it's been a long time we heard from this chap. And Alexander Jiku did not feature for Strasbourg in their 5-1 win over St. Etienne. And Kamal Din Suleimana, yes, scored for Rennes in their 3-0 win over Met. It was a massive, massive, massive win for Rennes. And Kamal 
Mohamed Suleimana, the star, or let me say, the skillful player for the Black Stars. He was on target for ranks against Mess. 3 0, it ended. And quickly, yes, Osman Bukhari saw, or he played 53 minutes uh, for Nantes in their 1 1 drawn game against Bordeaux. And in Austria, Kelvin Yabua was in action for Stormgrass in their 1 0 win over Red. And if you move to Belgium in the Jubilee League, Kamal Suwa was in action for Club Bruges in their 2-0 win over Cottage that was on Friday and Majid Ashimeru also played 18 minutes for uh, that is Anderlecht in their 2-2 drawn game against St. Trudin and if you move to Bulgaria where we have Bernard Tepete, yes, and Elvis Melo, they were both in action for Ludogorets Razgrad in their 4-0 win over Sako Selo in the Bulgarian League and quickly in Croatia, yes, Prince of Bin Ampen and Isa Abbas were in action for Rijeka in their 3 3 draw game against Dynamo Zagreb. And if we move to Denmark, yes, Lasso Kulibali, Francis Abu, Emmanuel Abura, Maxwell Wolleji, and Willy Kumado were all in action for Nordland. Yes, they were in action for Nordland in their 2 2 drawn game against Medjeland. It was a massive game, a big game in Denmark. And in, uh, quickly, if we move to Finland, Baba Mensa, he was or he saw 90 minutes of action for Klubi 04 in their 2 0 win over Mekelen. And if we move straight to I want us to go to the Netherlands because in the early DBC, Mohamed Kudus played 62 minutes for Ajax in their 2-0 win over Herbein. And in Portugal, Lorenzo Fori also played 30 minutes for Famalicao in their 4-0 win over Akadamika. And in Poland, our own Yao Yabua made a brief appearance for Whistler in their 1-0 win over Gornik. And quickly in Qatar, where our captain, that is the captain of the Black Stars, Andre Dede Ayu, plies his trade. He came off the bench to score for outside in their big win over Al Garafa. And if we move straight to South Africa, Edwin Jima played a full 90 minutes for Sekukune in their 1-0 win over Cape Town City. And quickly, if we move to Switzerland in the Swiss League, Ghana goalkeeper Lawrence Atezegi and Musa Nubu were in action for St. Gallen in their 2-1 win over Sebex. And in Turkey, Benjamin Tete scored for Yeni Matalaya Sport in their 2-0 win over Adana Demispor. And Isaac Kofi played 45 good minutes for Silver Sport in their 2-2 drawn game against Antalaya Sport. And quickly, if we move to the United States of America, in the MLS, Harrison Alfo made a brief appearance for Columbus crew in their 4-0 win over Inter Miami. Yes, Inter Miami, uh, David Beckham's Inter Miami. Jonathan Mensah missed the action for Columbus crew and Emmanuel Boatin also played just 23 minutes for New England Revolution in their 2-2 drawn game against Chicago Fire. And Isaac Atanga also played 45 minutes for FC Cincinnati in their 1-0 defeat to Orlando City. So in brief, these are the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. And moving on to some other news here, as far as the international terrain is concerned. Yes, uh, Wembley has an issue. And quickly, this is what we are picking that England are expected to be ordered to play at least one game behind closed doors when UEFA's disciplinary body meets today, Monday, to look into crowd trouble inside and outside Wembley Stadium during the Euro 2022 finals. The Euro 2020 finals, sorry. And remember, there were serious disturbances by English fans during the just-ended Euro 2020, Euro 2020 uh, summer tournament. And England... Uh, we are expected that at least, at least today, UEFA's disciplinary committee, they will be meeting today 
to decide on what punishment should be meted out to England as far as um, their home ground, Wembley, is concerned. And we are picking the news that at least the Three Lions would be ordered to play one game, one game at least behind closed doors due to uh, fan disturbances during the summer that is Euro 2020 finals. And so that is what we are picking in Europe. And quickly away from the England story, yes, let's look at some transfer news or some exclusives making headlines today as far as transfers are concerned. Indeed, Barcelona are unlikely to pursue Manchester United for Pogba when the France midfielder's contract ends next summer as they cannot afford the 28-year-old's wages. His wages are so high or his wage demands are so high that FC Barcelona cannot afford. Chelsea and England midfielder Ross Barkley, who is 27 years, we are told that uh, interests blindly as they make plans for the January transfer window is also what we are picking. PSG, we are told that they will target Bayern Munich and Poland striker Robert Lewandowski or Dortmund and Norway board Ellen Haaland in the 2022 transfer window as a replacement for Kylian Mbappe who has ordered that he wants to uh, play for Real Madrid and is expected to move to Real Madrid. Spain Ford and Sufati's contract renewal talks have stalled at FC Barcelona. As the 18-year-old's agent, Jorge Mendes, we are told that he wants a two-year term and is rejecting a 1 billion euro equivalent to about 844 million pounds release clause in Ansu Fati's new contract that uh, FC Barcelona wants to give him. But his agent is saying that that 1 billion dollar uh, 1 billion euro release clause or buyout clause is too much for the player. Liverpool and uh, sporting director Michael Edwards is a target for Real Madrid to help the Spanish club with their transfers. So that is also what we are picking. Also, Tottenham Hotspurs and Newcastle United are targeting Fiorentina and Serbia striker Dusan Vlahovic, who is only 21 years, and Manchester United manager. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will not be sacked despite the Norwegian winning only four of eight Premier League matches this season. So Manchester United fans should brace themselves up. But for me, personally, 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 this is my take on this. I believe that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been given too much time, enough time to prove himself. And he hasn't proven himself. I don't know whether... They see a certain Ferguson in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Remember when Ferguson came uh, to Manchester United, it took him about five years before he gained crowns. And when he did, it was no turning back for Manchester United. I don't know if that is what United are seeing in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They want to give him ample time that when he starts winning trophies, it will be no turning back as in the days of Ferguson. But on another thought, hasn't football changed? Ferguson's time, is it the same as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's time? We wait to see, but personally, I, I don't know why Manchester United is still keeping Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But let's wait and see what would happen or what happens afterwards. And so these are some of the news making headlines today. I think I have the international newspapers as well. If you pick the Daily Star newspaper today, yes, Manchester United fear another huge protest by supporters before their ultra for date with Liverpool next Sunday with local police already on red alert. And one of Asma's top transfer targets, according to the Daily Star newspaper, Luka Jovic, has told Real Madrid that he wants to leave the club as soon as possible. And uh, quickly, the Sun newspaper where we are picking the news as Sevilla defender Jules Kunde has reportedly told his agent to open talks with Manchester United. And Chelsea might have to recall Billy Gilmore from his loan spell at Norwich City in January after comment from Daniel Park that it is not his job to develop players for other clubs. And so that is what is uh, happening. And quickly, uh, the Daily Mail newspaper 
where we are picking the news that PSG will target Ellen Haaland. Yes, I'm giving you this one. So let's uh, move on to the Matejis Delitz issue. His agent, Nuno Raiola, has reportedly been in contact with Chelsea, Manchester City, and Barcelona over the possibility of moving his clients away from Juventus. And Real Madrid are reportedly hoping to lure Liverpool's uh, transfer guru michael edwards this also i have given you and the daily mirror newspaper has this one where barcelona believes that osman dembele is already being offered to other clubs including manchester united and liverpool ahead of the january window when he could sign a free contract agreement with any club outside spain that is also what we are picking so these are some of the news making headlines today as far as sports is concerned uh, always always don't forget to log on or just uh, follow us on facebook or log on to www.sports24online.com for all the latest and the best as far as sports is concerned also on facebook twitter and instagram it is sports24 online and you would be able to follow all the stories that we share on our social media platforms also your whatsapp comments are welcomed 0249103421 send in all your whatsapp comments if you have any story also any sporting story that you feel uh, we have to publish for you or you feel that this story is worth breaking send it to us via whatsapp or you can call us on 0249103421 my name is Okrojo Kennedy for short stick and stay and always always uh, support us as we also bring you the best have a lovely morning